Hey. What are you doing here? I, I have a, a, an appointment. Are you okay? What kind of appointment? Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, with Dr. Frankel. But why? Ryan, it's over. David took his own life. Because I have questions about that night. I still have questions. Well, you know all you need to know. You didn't kill him. There's no reason for you to be hypnotized why, again. Why are you so against me trying to find out because what Because I want night. all of us to forget about that night. I don't want to spend every minute thinking about David's death anymore. I don't want it to haunt us forever. Look, I'm, I'm doing this for me, okay? I, I lost some time, and I really want to know what happened. Because you don't think David killed himself? No. I don't. The man that I was trading punches with was not ready to die. He certainly wasn't about to take a swig of digitalis. I'm his wife. I cared about him. I've accepted it. Why can't you? I mean, you could spend the rest of your life looking for answers. I get that. I'm looking for answers, too, about how this happened, about how I let it happen. I'll always have questions. But those questions aren't going to bring him back, and neither will the answer. So we have to just live. We have to keep moving forward and look at what's right in front of us. Well, at least you don't have to tell Zach in a prison visiting room. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't know how this conversation is going to go. It's going to be hard enough. I've made Zach so many promises and pretty much broken every single one. I don't even know where to start. Maybe you should tell him to sit down. We're supposed to be uh, on a romantic yacht right now, Banks. Having three wonderful weeks alone away from everybody before we come back to Pine Valley for good. And he was doing that for me, by the way. And, and what do I do? How do I thank him? I get criminal charges. Why didn't I just listen to him? Because Ryan and Greenlee needed you. Right. I'll focus on that as I scrape gum off the park benches. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, okay, so if you think it's so funny, why don't you break it to Zach? Oh. No, nice try. Mm. Look, what, what I want is I, 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 want, I want you to get on with your life. That's what I want. And, and I want you to stop blaming yourself for David's death. But you won't. How's Emma? She's fine. Mm. When was the last time you spent the day with her? She's been with Annie a lot lately, so... Because you keep trying to relive the night that David died. Murder, suicide, death, not the kind of things I want to talk about in front of my daughter. Well, how you know? Spike? I know what you're doing, Greenlee. I'm trying to make a point. You have amazing kids. You just got so close to spending the rest of your life in prison, but now you have your life, you have your children. Instead, you're looking for answers that you may or may not ever get. Well, I'm just gonna have to take what I can get, that's all. Please, Ryan. David's life is over. It's not easy, but I'm trying to find a way to deal with it. And if you don't let this go, you're gonna lose yourself, too. Call me when you get this. I love you. No, Zach? Maybe he doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, he loves you. Okay, he'll understand. Yeah, but at, at some point, I mean, what if, I don't know, what if I've gone too far? What if it's just too much? Oh, he's pretty aware you're the kind of woman who steals a briefcase every now and then. Fusion. I will. It's your husband. This is Ryan Lavery. Um, I'd like to cancel my appointment with Dr. Frankel, please. AJ, why don't you go push Miranda in the swing? Hey. How are you? I have a different answer for that every five minutes. I know what you mean. 
David's father killed himself. Did you know that? Now, David, what kind of a legacy is that? They were both unhappy men who saw no way out. But the pain and tragedy ends with you. David's gone, but you're still here. AJ is still here. You're gonna live a happy life. You're gonna live the life that David always wanted you to live. You got a letter, too? David wrote wonderful things. Kind, loving words. I mean, on that piece of paper, he was the father that I've always wanted him to be. But yet he almost never showed that side of himself. I mean, if he had, maybe he would still be alive. Hey, hey, you can't blame yourself for this. But I pushed him away. I mean, in the end, he tried to connect with me, but I, I wouldn't return his phone calls. I mean, I erased his last message. In his own way, he was trying to be a father to me, but I rejected him. None of this is your fault, Marissa. That letter. I mean, if I had known that man, things could have just been so different. And now that, that chance is gone. Listen, David wrote that letter because he wanted you to know how much he loved you. Not to make you feel guilty, do you understand that? He wanted you to know that he loved you. Father to daughter, you did nothing wrong. None of this was your fault. None of it. I should go. I promised that I'd get the kids some ice cream. I'm really sorry for just dumping all this grief Don't on you. Me. I really think David wrote that letter to give you peace. Yeah, well, hopefully one of us will get it. come for just one day. Really? Okay, um, how about today? I mean, I know it's soon, but I cannot wait to see you. Okay. Um, well, it's so beautiful outside. Why don't we meet at the park at our favorite spot? What time works for you? Okay, great. I'll see you then. Love you. That smile says it went well. I told Zach everything. And he was upset, but he... Not exactly surprised? No, not really. But he's coming. He's, he's on his way. And we are actually going to talk, finally, in person. Everything has to be okay. Just... It's a beautiful day. It is. So it's almost official. David's suicide. Yeah. Hmm. Last time you saw him, did he seem despondent to you? Well, you know David. He was always really good at keeping his emotions under his hat. Hmm. True enough, true enough. But I mean, you know, in a couple of days leading up to the party, did he ever do or say anything that suggest to you that he was suicidal? Ryan hired you, didn't he? even though the police are closing the case. He wants the truth. Mm. Even if it hurts him. You know Ryan. Put you in a tough place. Anything you want to talk about? Ryan is so busy saving everyone else that he doesn't give a damn about himself. Well, he's a good man. He's a good man with a lot of people who care about him. I want to help him. You know, I, uh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but you know, I uh, was standing over there just a minute ago. I saw you with Marissa. 
I was impressed. It really looked like he took her pain to heart. Well, David's letter was supposed to give her comfort and make her feel better. Instead, she feels guilty, like she's part of the reason that he took his own life. And that's not the way it was supposed to work, was it? David didn't write the letters. You did.